Hello everybody, this is Jewel Diamond Taylor. Just kind of having fun. I'm wearing some jewelry that I make. I love making jewelry. And I love creating my own line of greeting cards that sparkle. Uh, I love teaching others how to have multiple streams of income. Um, not only do I do live speaking for conferences and colleges and churches and retreats, I do life coaching for women. I create my own line of greeting cards and I make jewelry. Love, I love making jewelry. My father was a jeweler, a gemologist, so it just makes sense that since I was given this name because of his uh, talent that, you know, I started making jewelry some time ago. I make bracelets, I make necklaces, and I just love wearing them. But anyway, um, today I wanted to share with you the power of networking and collaboration. <clears throat> you know, 32 years ago, I started speaking, and when I started speaking, there was no social media. The best way to really promote what you were doing was to pass out your business cards. And if you lost that business card, <laughs> you lost the contact. And if you didn't follow up with the business card, you could have lost an opportunity. I was invited to speak for Destiny Designer University, Dr. Stacy Grant in New York, and the communication, the technology kept us from having the interview. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you now what I was gonna share with Dr. Stacy Grant. And by the way, congratulations. Uh, this is her third anniversary of her Destiny Designer University. And she's doing some magnificent things on the East Coast and nationwide, and I'm sure internationally. But this is what I was gonna share with her. And I thought I would share it with you because I found 32 years ago how important it was to network, to collaborate. I found out very quickly the importance of establishing a relationship currency. I'm very wealthy because of the people I'm connected to. And it's not a one-way street. You learn very quickly that relationship currency is developed by reciprocity, giving and taking, sharing resources, staying in communication. Um, that is so key. And I find that sometimes people are a little bit insecure, can tend to be a little bit territorial and selfish. So I gravitate towards the Dr. Stacy Grants who are like me. I don't mind sharing the stage with other dynamic people because I know I don't know everything <laughs> and I want to empower my audience. I know my strengths, but I know the strengths of others. And I think when we multiply our brain power and we share, we have brain share and we have a mastermind, a collaboration of minds working together, we could do so much more individually as well as for our business, as well as for those that we serve. So I want to share with you my 10 points that I teach in my leadership training about the importance of teamwork and collaboration. I've learned that over time, you know, people are recycled. Some people stay, some people go. In fact, I am at a point now where I'm looking for more people to be on my team. And I'm excited to receive new talent, new ideas, uh, new anointing, <laughs> new expertise. So if you're interested in being a part of my team, let me know. But let me share with you my 10 steps for building a rich relationship currency. Let me share with you the 10 steps on how you can network and collaborate with others. The first one is to know that you've got to be a game changer. Yeah, you got to be a game changer. And the way you do that is you surround yourself with people that are smarter than you. I mean, that's biblical. Iron sharpens iron. If you isolate, if you're insecure, if you're territorial, if you're full of pride, if you are shy, you will find that you cannot be a game changer because you become stale and stagnant and you're not current with the trends. You're not current with what's going on. And yes, you may have to be in a room full of competitors or people that don't get you, but that's okay. You know, you dig for the treasure and you find those that see you and get you and you connect with them and you collaborate with them and you create this relationship currency by being a game changer, by showing up and surrounding yourself with people that are smarter than you. Number two, learn how to give and guide. Um, so many times I'll offer and I'll say, I'll volunteer, I'll show up, I'll share resources. 
uh, this is so important to give to others because networking is not all about you. It's about what you can do for your community, those that are in your industry, those that seek you out, those that are looking for a mentor. I mentor so many people in the past, and there are a few that have come back to say thank you. There are there have been a few that come back and let you know the progress that they're making, and that's always heartwarming. Everybody doesn't do that, but those that do come back, it really lets you know that your labor is not in vain and how important it is to plant seeds and to give and to guide others, to share resources. You know, where did you get that banner done? Who was your photographer? Where did you get your books published? You know, where did you get your hair done? Uh, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do I set up my webinar? You know, sharing with other resources, you can't help but be blessed and become rich because your giving will come back to you. It will circulate back to you the more you become a giver and you learn how to guide others. In my 32 years of speaking, I have guided countless people uh, that have written their books, been on TV, uh, marriages healed, um, created emotional wellness, started their speaking career, uh, just did some great things because I never mind being a mentor or a coach. Now there is a difference between a being a mentor and a coach. Let's get that clear, because I am a coach. Uh, and that is a profit center, but mentoring is a special relationship where you pour into others and you make a deposit because you see that this is an assignment from God. This is a person who, who has, this is a person who is worthy of your investment. Because I think as I've grown, I've learned that some people come to grab and go and some people come to stay and be fed. For some people, they just, it's like a to-go plate. They just take what they can get and go. You never see them again. And then some people stay and dine and they invest and they reciprocate and they follow through. The third thing is go beyond being average. Every one of my steps begins with a G. Go beyond what's expected. You know, usually when I send out my book orders, I have a little something extra in the package. Uh, when I have my events, a lot, I like to do a little something different. When I go and network, I like to go beyond and not just stay in the corner and be a wallflower. Uh, to go beyond means do something that makes you stand out. Now, this could be really uncomfortable for some of you that are socially awkward and shy and call yourself an introvert. We have to learn how to be an introvert, know when it's time to be introverted and know when it's time to be extroverted. That's an introvert. And I think that's what I am because there's times when I love being by myself. There are times when I pull back and I isolate and I meditate and I spend time with family and I work on my books and I work on my messages and I spend time with God. And there are times I've got to get out and be extroverted and to collaborate with others, to network with others, you've got to know how to get out and extend yourself and go beyond your comfort zone. Number four is grow. Yeah, that's one of my favorite words, grow. I, I do a little sign language and in sign language, this is grow. And if you want to collaborate with others and you want to network, it will give you an opportunity to grow. You'll learn things, you'll be challenged, you'll be around competition, you will grow because you will be promoted and elevated. You'll put yourself in an opportunity, in a place, in an atmosphere where someone will see you and connect with you. Uh, when you grow, it's an amazing thing. Sometimes you'll be a little bit uncomfortable, but how can you grow if you don't collaborate with others and you don't get out and network and go to conferences and connect with people and share with them your business cards, your website, your Facebook, your social media, samples of what you do, giving things away. Uh, this is so important, okay? I remember uh, over 30 years ago, I invited Les Brown to be a speaker in Los Angeles. Our, our careers kind of started about the same time. And this was the time of cassette tapes. And I remember I duplicated hundreds of cassette tapes and I just gave them away. Gave them away, cassette tapes of Les Brown. I sold out that evening. I had about 700 people on a rainy night in Los Angeles and the place was full. 
Why? Because I went beyond. I gave away something. I gave a tool away. And very often I give away my CDs. I give away books. I do things to give people a sample of what I do. In fact, this free video message is a free sample of the type of webinars that I do. I don't mind giving things away. I don't mind sharing something that is free so that you can see the value of what I do so that when it comes time to make an investment and to register for my webinars, you will see that this is something that is of great value for you. So how are you going to grow? You grow by networking. You grow by collaborating with others. You grow by 